<laughs> What's going on, all oh my God Eater fans? So it's been way too long since my last God Eater video, and I thought I needed to change that. Mainly because I want to just keep the hype going on, just be talking about it in a sense, so that whenever it comes, you know, it's not like a sporadic video of God Eater. It's like, okay, Darren, just waiting on Jamer's God Eater first impressions, first day, you know, whatever video, you know? So I thought, what can I do? What can I do? So I thought I'll do a series of just, I want to say recapping on the God Eater just franchise in a general, you know, so this can help new people. Um, new subscribe maybe some some of you subscribers don't know what it is but plan on getting it maybe some of you old ones you know some, some nostalgia and maybe I can teach you something that you didn't know but I do know most God Eater fans out there are hardcore God Eater fans like so maybe I won't really teach you anything but you know it's a thought that counts but you never know anyway so I like so for the first uh video I thought I would do I said why don't we compare since this this first game of god eater has so many lives i said why don't we compare it to each other so what we're gonna do is take god eater compare it to god eater burst and then compare it to god eater resurrection so let's just do it so for starters god eater yes god eater is a game it's it's like a it's the real it was a thing you know it's the very first one no burst nothing god eater so I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you what the what the differences are between God Eater and God Eater Burst. So for the differences, God Eater Burst added an extended storyline which expands the story a little bit, which this took it from 45 missions in God Eater to 75 missions in God Eater Burst with an extra 25 extra challenge missions. Now I left out some kind of boring and really really detailed stuff, but I thought I'd just mention this because I didn't write it down. But um, it, it was said that God Eater. It, the, the, the characters, the NPCs that you interacted with weren't that like detailed, I guess. You couldn't do a whole lot, they didn't talk a whole lot. But then God Eater Burst added like some deep NPC interactions and stuff stuff along that line. And basically just, just made the story more dynamic, I guess you could say. And then something else, uh, skills got changed. Uh, in God Eater, there are different, different levels of attack bonuses, while God Eater was, uh, I see, God Eater Burst, there's only one level for each attack bonus. Now, that would only make sense to some real deep God Eater, you know, fan. So just, yeah. <laughs> and something else. Um, so I actually was reading that God Eater was actually a slow paced game versus how God Eater Burst became a fast paced game. And that is due to the gameplay being more for God Eater's gameplay was more focused on using ridiculous damage of, of the guns. Uh, their bullets were so, 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 so good. They did so much damage. And so it was better off to use your guns versus your sword because not only did the guns do a lot of damage, but they didn't cost too much bullets. While uh, for God Eater Burst to change that, they basically made it the bullets where they did not, they weren't so powerful and they cost a lot more uh, bullets, I guess you could say. And then they buffed swords in burst mode. So basically melee became the better option to use to efficiently take down these origami. Something else cool was many new equipment was added. They basically doubled the, the costumes and equipment that uh, you could get in God Eater burst and then modified some of the skills that that existed um that were on some equip that some equipment had so some of the skills on your equipment got modified you know nothing nothing too major and lastly all of the god eater dlc was added into god eater burst plus some new mission missions along with a new monster which i'm not exactly sure which monster which origami was a uh, new in god eater burst but um yeah so now we can go ahead and take god eater burst which is the most recent or okay the second most recent uh version of i guess the first god eater and compared to the newest one coming out soon for the u.s just eight days just eight days so before we even get into that i just want to uh, mention one thing so the thing with god eater resurrection um it came it's the last game of the series i guess the newest game out of all of the god eaters that have been re released it's the newest one the only thing with it is that it went back to <laughs> the uh the first game but the thing is with that um it introduced some th new things that aren't in any other gravity rushes okay 
uh, while God Eater 2 Rage Burst introduced new things that weren't in, in uh, that weren't in what you call it the God Eater series before, God Eater Resurrection added even newer stuff. But the things with that, it did not retain, it did not bring back the new stuff added in God Eater Rage Burst, as in like the new mechanics, only the weapons and things like that. Um, because because I, I, I'm pretty sure the story of God Eater 2 Rage Burst uh, has something to do with the new mechanics that are in that game. That's why they can't just bring it over here. But they still went ahead and added some new stuff. So just want to let you guys know that. But anyways, so to begin, something new. Th this is something new that in, in all of the um, all God Eater series. The new Predator style. So it adds new devourers. It adds the Quick Devourer, which is just a quick, uh, quick, uh, simple devourer. You just press a button, the, the two buttons, and it devours right away. There's a Step Devourer and the Air Devourer. Step, de step uh, Devourer chains from steps. Air Devourer can be formed in midair. And the, these also allow for multiple predator styles, which are devour actions for each of them. And something that was actually new to the God Eater Burst, like it's not part of God Eater Burst, but it is in God Eater 2 Rage Burst, are the three new weapon types, which is the hammer, spear, and scythe. And to addition, they added an addition to the story of God Eater Burst, basically. So on top of the new story added onto God Eater Burst, they added an even newer one in God Eater Resurrection, which adds three new chapters, which cover the events after the end of God Eater Burst, which includes Resurrection. You know, so after Burst ends, it adds three more chapters to it. And the thing is also on this, all blades have special actions. Um, now in God Eater Resurrection. So the short blade has a, a move called Rising Edge. The long blade has zero stance, which I'm sure that's the one that lets you cancel. I forget. And then the buster blade has parrying upper. These are just the names that I kind of <laughs> uh, saw in the God Eater wiki. And it also says the weapons in God Eater 2 already, ha already have these special actions. So, you know, all those new actions are already in God Eater 2, but they're new for if you compare it to God Eater Burst, you know, because those aren't in God Eater Burst. But, you know, for that, other than that, that's the majority of what uh, was added. Also, the, with the release of God Eater Resurrection in the US, we're also getting a lot of DLC. I, and I know in the demo of Resurrection, I got Lenka's, Lenka's um, uh, armor, or yeah, his like costume. And I, I'm pretty sure Lenka's actual sword is also available in God Eater Resurrection. But um, that'd be in the full game, obviously. So we got some DLCs, some cross DLCs from other games, you know, other than that, like that in this God Eater Resurrection as well. But um, yeah, so that's the majority of everything that's new that has been added and kind of comparing it God Eater to God Eater Burst and God Eater Burst, God Eater Resurrection, you know, kind of doing that whole stuff. Maybe you learned something new. Maybe it's a little interesting. Um, let me know the feedback of what you guys would like to see for this, you know, like, like I said, I just want to keep some God Eater videos going on. Like I said, there's not a whole, whole lot you could do. So I'm thinking maybe next time we can talk about the story of God Eater just to get people up to par with, you know, the whole God Eater universe, you know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, please. I'd really, really appreciate it. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy because that would really let me know that this is a beneficial, meaningful series, whatever you want to call it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for the support lately. But um, other than that, I will see you guys in the next God Eater video. Be sure to subscribe for more. Peace. You see, I'm waiting and they hating and I'm sipping on my tea. Bad bitch walking past. May I stop you, please? And I'm hungry as a bitch, but this life ain't free. Life ain't if I'm free. trying to get this money, I can't really shake a tree. I'll be working, I'll be working. It's a quarter past three. When I stop